In order for machine learning to work, a huge amount of data is required. Data sets are necessary as the inputs to be able to run machine learning algorithms and get useful outcomes, really lowering the cost of prediction ultimately as the early objective of machine learning. And Anthony, you've created a platform that has gotten way out in front of the marketplace in collecting these data sets and having huge participation from the data science community. So how does Kaggle attract the two million plus uh, community members you have today? Ultimately, what data scientists want is data sets. Uh, uh, it was my initial motivation in, in starting the company. And so um, if you're looking for interesting data sets, there's probably no better single place to go on the web than Kaggle. We release data sets in several forms. We have machine learning competitions where you're competing to build the best algorithm on a company's data set, or we have free form data sets that our community shares with each other. And we have over 10,000 10, high quality data sets at this point. And those 10,000 data sets are actually mostly been uploaded by the community. So what, what's the motivation for the community to be continuously improving the data sets you have? If you have a project you want to work on, uh, you have two choices, right? You can work in isolation on your own computer and no one ever sees your project, or you upload the data set and then other people passionate about that data set jump in and you collaborate with them and you have a little community on a topic that interests you. And uh, it's much more energizing to work you know, alongside others on a common passion than it is to work on, you know, in isolation on your own machine. The credentials aspect of it is a really interesting component where computer, the computer and data science community are really taking advantage of the recognition now of Kaggle. Uh, where do the credential aspects come into it? Yeah, I would say initially um, the, the early users of Kaggle were motivated by access to data sets and problems. Now we've become among the most well-known well machine learning credentials you can have. Um, and I think this is, there's just a shortage of machine learning talent. We have a lot of people coming to Kaggle to learn to do projects. Um, and in often cases, you know, their results in our competitions, the projects they do are really impressive. Uh, and, and so uh, employers find that they get a lot of signal out of people's Kaggle profiles. And where does the community go from here? Machine learning competitions were our first project pr product. Uh, one of the things I'm proudest of is that actually Kaggle has expanded beyond. Um, we have two other products that are uh, actually quite a bit, bit bigger now. We have uh, Kaggle Kernels, which is a cloud-based workbench. So if you're a data scientist, you don't have to work on your local machine. You can work in Kaggle Kernels, our cloud-based environment. Uh, and then we also have a public data sets platform. And this just allows any um, put person in our community to share data sets with each other. And our aim with the public data platform is if you're looking for any data set, we want you to be able to find it on Kaggle. We're not there yet, but we're on a good path to get there.